Good morning, folks. Getting right into it. More angry swarms of bees, this time in Hungary. At least 15 children are dead in Rayagata, India, in a measles outbreak. Couple unusual quakes yesterday, way up north again between UK and Greenland. South of Madagascar is rocking again, getting bigger each time. We also have seismicity along the Pacific Ridge and near the subduction zone running along the west coast of the Americas. Last but not least, we had strong wind whip through a fan tent at a Cardinals game, causing injury and damage. There's some severe weather possible for today as well. If you live in this area here, you have no excuses. Watch Torcon, watch the radar. Stay safe, people, please. This is a good article by Fizzorg. I am personally somewhat against the overprescription of these type of drugs. Frankly, depression seems like a fairly normal reaction to many things in this world. Finally, NASA has an interesting article about supernova's effect on life. You can see the solar wind is mocking me, simply refusing to come much below 400 kilometers per second for very long. Those ambient resonance did end up uh, returning yet late yesterday. The energy is clearly still active in our system. You can see a moderate particle bombardment here on the Ovation Prime as well. Having a look at the southern hemisphere of the sun. Southern pole, coronal hole, way down there at the bottom. Over here on the southeastern limb, we have a significant active region. The larger the region and the more cl uh, complex the polarities are, the more dangerous she is. This one requires at least a moderate solar watch beginning now. Up north, you can see the tiny coronal hole turning away from us. Its solar wind is already on the way to Earth. Thin dark line under it is a plasma filament. May is almost here. The moon is approaching Mars in the sky and will be next to Saturn about three days after that. Remember, our next big quake watch is upcoming with significant planetary geometry in early May. If you missed it last night, the first link in the info box will be to my video explaining all of this quake stuff and what we're talking about. It took a long time, so if you have four minutes, please check it out. That's the news, folks. Be safe.